Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the weekly Google Chrome security fixes have arrived, and those rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 18th of February. And because we are dealing with security issues, to double check we have the update, we head to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. And once this update has been applied, the version is 133.0.6943.126 or 127 either or on version 133 if you're running windows mac or linux means your browser is up to date and fully patched now we get three security fixes that have rolled out for this week that's one less than last week and out of the three security vulnerabilities that have been patched two are high severity so once again thankfully there are no zero days exploited in the wild and there are no critical vulnerabilities. And the two high severity flaws are heap buffer overflow in V8 and heap buffer overflow in GPU. So three security fixes for this week. And because um, Google Chrome always gets these security updates first, we can expect Brave, Edge, and Vivaldi to get more or less the same security fixes um, in those browsers rolling out throughout the course and the rest of this week. Now, something else just to take note of with this update, which you may or may not have seen before. And this update actually turns off the uBlock Origin extension, which is something I've been talking about quite in depth on this channel. Just do a search if you want more information, where Google is replacing Manifest V2 extensions with V3. And obviously, uBlock Origin is a V2 extension, and Google is trying to get rid of uBlock Origin in the browser which obviously is causing quite a lot of debate now when i did uh, relaunch my browser after this latest point release update and um, i did take a couple of uh, screenshots so i could just show you for this video first of all it had a banner on my extensions button telling me that um uBlock origin was turned off and then when i clicked manage extensions it it took me into my extensions page where, as you can see, this extension was turned off because it's no longer supported. And then if we head into the next screenshot, um, although it was turned off, you get the drop-down menu. If you click on that three-dotted menu next to the actual app, find alternatives, keep for now. And something else to take note of, here's where it says this extension was turned off because it is no longer supported. Now, if we head back to keep for now, I did click on that and it re-enabled the extension. Now, just to let you know that Google is trying to make it difficult because it wasn't just keep for now and then it enabled the extension. I literally had to click, I think, three times on different components to re-enable the extension. So obviously, Google is trying to make it a little bit difficult to re-enable the extension after they have turned it off. And this is obviously the ongoing saga with Google and Google Chrome trying to get rid of uBlock Origin and V2 extensions. And thankfully, I could enable it once again and, and carry on using it. But I personally don't know how long that is going to last because, as I mentioned, they are busy phasing out V2 extensions in place of V3, like could have hated. it. And this is causing a lot of users to actually move on to other web browsers, as I have seen in the comments on this channel. And I did notice that the extension was turned off in both the stable version today in my region and in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version after it received its overnight update. Only on my Windows 11 device and not on my Windows 10 device. So it seems that this is kind of like a controlled rollout where Google is kind of phasing the um, the deprecation, phasing out the deprecation of V2 extension. So just bringing that to attention just to keep us all on the same page because obviously... This has gained quite a lot of interest. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.